Paper trading is when you use fake money to simulate a real trading environment. It's the best way to practice trading as a beginner or to try out new trading strategies as a more advanced trader. So in this video, I will show you guys how to get started with paper trading on TradingView in a step-by-step -step manner. We'll take a look at how to set up a paper trading account, some important tweaks and settings. And we will also, of course, take a look at how to paper trade live in real markets. Sounds good. Let's get started right away here. So let's start this video off here by opening up TradingView. And the first thing you want to do here in order to get started with paper trading is that you want to open up a chart. You can open up any chart really, but let's go up here to products and press on super charts. And let's go up here to the upper left corner and press here. Uh, as you can see right now, I'm using Bitcoin, but you can use any market really. But for this video, let's just use Bitcoin here. So I'm going to press Bitcoin on Coinbase and open up the chart. All right then, so now when we have a chart open, we wanna go down here to where it says trading panel here in the bottom. And to make it a bit more clear, I'm gonna go to this button right here and maximize this panel. And as you can see on this panel, we have many different brokers we can use to actually trade with real money in TradingView. Uh, we have tons of different brokers here, but this video is all about paper trading. So what we wanna do here is that we wanna navigate to the paper trading tab here and press this one. And all you have to do here is basically to click connect. What this will do is that it will basically connect your current TradingView account. So you need to make sure that you at least have a TradingView account. And by the way, if you are ever interested in upgrading your TradingView plan, I actually have a special link for that. So I'll make sure to leave that link in the top of the description and in the pinned comment. You can use that link to get a $15 bonus if you are new to TradingView or if you are thinking about upgrading to another TradingView plan. But now guys, let's take a look at the paper trading panel. You can see that it says paper trading up here. It says my account name and so on and so on. And the first thing I want to do here is that I want to go to the settings tab. And the first thing I want to show you guys is that if you go down here to where it says reset account, let's press on this one. You can see that we can decide what balance of fake money we want to start with. So the standard balance is that we start with $100,000. But if you want another amount, let's say you <laughs> You maybe want you know to start with uh, 1 million you can choose 1 million and press reset here uh, and then as you can see up here in the corner you can see that we now have an account balance of 1 million let's now go back here to the settings tab because we have another pretty interesting setting here that can be super useful and that is to include commission so we want to check this button right here uh, and the reason we want to include commissions is because when you trade in real markets there will always be or pretty much always you will have some associated costs so when you trade you usually have to pay a small amount to your broker uh, so you can see that we can choose here where it says commission type you can see that we can either choose a you know percentage or a fixed amount uh, and for this example let's just choose a fixed amount here and you know let's say that we have a fixed amount of one US dollar by changing these settings it will be a bit more clear if you would actually be profitable in real life so let's just choose the settings right here and press save you can also see that we have a few tabs here. We have positions, orders, history, and so on and so on. And these are all empty right now. Uh, and that is of course, because we haven't taken any trades yet. Uh, so now guys, let's switch the attention. Let's actually go up here and hide the panel once again, because now we are finally ready to start paper trading. So to open up a trade, now you can see in the upper left corner, we have a sell button and a buy button. And to open up the paper trading tab, you basically click either buy or sell. It doesn't really matter right now. Let's just click buy market. Let me adjust this one a bit here so you can see clearly. Now you can see that a new panel appeared. And this panel right here is basically where we take our trades. So we have the sell and we have the buy. And we also have some different types of order. We have the market order right here, which is basically that you buy or sell at the current price. So right now, Bitcoin is at 27,860. So by using a market order, you would basically just buy at that price. A limit order is a bit different. A limit order is basically when you set a certain level where you will buy or a certain level 
where you will sell and the stop order works in a similar fashion. Uh, in this video, I will not go into too much detail on the different order types. I actually just recently made a video where I talk in depth about how these order types are different. So I will make sure to leave a link to that video up in the corner in the eye of this video. Uh, but for now, let's just use the market order. Let's make a super easy example. We use a market order here, and now we are ready to take our trade. So we go to the market order, and we are currently on the buy tab. And here you can see it says units. That is basically how many, in this case, Bitcoins do we wanna buy. Uh, Bitcoin is pretty expensive, so we can keep it at one. Uh, realistically, you might wanna use you know, 0 0.1 or even less. Uh, because Bitcoin is an extremely costly asset. You also have a tab where it says take profit and stop loss. And let's start by taking a look at what the take profit does. Well, by using the take profit, you will choose a specific level here on the chart that if the price goes up and reaches this level, we will automatically take a profit. The opposite is true for stop loss. A stop loss is when we set a level that when the price goes down to that level or below, we will automatically sell the asset. And using a stop loss is super, super important when you trade. Many times the take profit level can be a bit more flexible, uh, but setting a stop loss is very important, especially if you are a beginner trader. So let's just take some random numbers and show how we can do this. So you can see, for example, right now Bitcoin is at around 27,000. 900. So let's just for, for the sake of example say that we want to have our take profit at 27,950 and let's say that we want to have our stop loss at 27,850. And remember this is a market order so when we buy we buy right away. So let's press buy right here. And now as you can see a few lines appear here on the chart. First of all, we have the blue line right here, and that is the level where we entered the trade. Uh, we have the green line, which is our profit target, and we also have our stop loss right here, which is the level that when the price, if the price goes below, we will automatically sell our position. So now guys, I'm gonna speed up the video. Meanwhile, I will take a bathroom break and you will see how this trade played out. Alright guys, so that was some quick and easy money right there. Unfortunately though, it wasn't real money. Uh, but now you can see that we locked in a trade. And what I want to do now is that I want to go back down here to the paper trading panel. And let's go up here and maximize the panel once again. So now we can see a few things. The first thing is that because we won the trade, you can see that the account balance now is $1,040. So we earned a nice $40 from this trade. And what you can also see now is that if you press on the history tab, you can now see that our trade is recorded right here. First of all, you can see that our buy order is recorded here. And you can also see that our stop loss is cancelled. And the stop loss got cancelled, of course, because we reached our profit target and then the stop loss also disappears. And you can also see here that our take profit got filled here. And another thing to notice is that we lost $1 of commission when we sold and $1 of commission when we bought. And that is of course because we chose these settings earlier. So these tabs are important to understand to practice your trading. So definitely after your trades, you can make sure to, to check out your history and so on and so on. Uh, but now guys, let's minimize this panel once again here. One important thing about the trade we just recently took was that it was a completely random trade. We did win our trade, but that was just pure luck. But guys, if you're interested in learning about real trading strategies, I have tons of videos here on my channel. So if you wanna improve your trading, learn about trading strategies, learn about trading indicators, and so on and so on, please don't hesitate to check out my YouTube channel for more content. But now guys, let's switch attention once again here to our order tab. If we go here to the right, you can also see that we have a tab where it says DOM. If we press this tab right here, you can see that we have a sort of, it pretty much looks like a ladder or a book here where we have tons of different levels. And you can also use this tab to trade, 
You can choose a specific limit here where you want to set your orders, but in my personal opinion, I do think the order tab here is much more clear, especially for beginners. So let's just stick with this tab right here. Uh, I want to show you guys one more thing here before we wrap this video up, and that is how to use a limit order. So remember, a limit order is that we choose a specific level to buy or sell. So now let's make sure that we are on the buy tab, we are on the limit order, and let's say that we want to buy Bitcoin at 27,850, uh, so let's choose that level. And in this case, you can of course always set a take profit and a stop loss. Uh, but just to show you guys, let's actually not have a take profit and stop loss this time. And let's just buy Bitcoin now. And as you can see, now a new line appeared here on the chart. That is our limit order, which means that if Bitcoin goes down to this level, we will buy Bitcoin and then we will be in a trade. What you then have to do if our order actually gets filled here is that you need to set a stop loss and take profit on your own. In TradingView, you can go up here to where it says uh, forecasting and measurement tools and you can set your long position right here. Um, and let's say that we our order gets filled right here then we use our long position and then you can manually set your target level and your stop, lo stop loss level and make sure to manually sell the trade when you reach these certain targets. All right, okay, so now when you have learned about paper trading, you are ready to learn some real trading strategies and learn about indicators that can improve your win rate. So now I highly recommend you guys to check out my technical analysis playlist where I have tons of educational trading videos.